Hello, hello. Hey, what's up? Come on in. Nothing much. How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Are you ready for your 73 questions? Hopefully, I'm a little nervous. Oh, you'll do <laughs> fine. So let's start off with, what's your name? Uh, my name is Sneha. And what program are you in? I am in the BSMD program. And what year are you in the program? I am a junior, so a third year. Your last year, hopefully. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> so are you in-state or out-of-state? I am an in-state student. How did you find out about this program? Uh, well, I was at high school, a high school college fair, and someone from the university came to talk about the program. And I was like, hey, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> How long is the program? It is a very, very long program, uh, <laughs> seven years. So. Did you have to interview to get into the program? To get in, no, but we did have a very long application. What was the application process like? Uh, well, we had to apply on the university website and then they gave a supplemental application if you were eligible. And that supplemental was like 10 essays long. No, it wasn't. Don't scare everyone. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> do you have to take the MCAT? We do have to take the MCAT. When do you have to take it? Uh, well, I took it in my, the summer after sophomore year. You, I think it's usually earlier than most traditional pre-meds take it, so. Was well, there a score cutoff? There is a score cutoff. And what was it? Uh, it was 512 for us, but then they lowered it to 511 because of COVID. <laughs> nice. Do you still have to interview with the med school? We do have to interview. It's more of a formality, but uh, in our first year, so when you're a freshman, you just go to the med school, you have your interview, and starting from our year, they were MMIs, so it's not that bad. Is there a GPA requirement? There is a GPA requirement. Um, it's about 3.7 cumulative. And I'm assuming you've made the cut so far. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm really hoping. What made you consider applying for an accelerated medical program? Uh, well, I've... I knew I wanted to be a physician and I knew I wanted to go to med school and all. So I figured what better way of doing that than going to a program that'll get me there earlier. Where would you have gone for undergrad if you weren't in this program? UGA. <laughs> go dogs. What's your major? Uh, we, everyone in the program is a cell and molec biology major. Any minors? No, unfortunately. <laughs> What's the hardest class you've taken so far? I, last semester we took advanced cell biology. It was like cell biology, but on steroids, so. Doesn't not, sound too fun. Not very good, <laughs> not at all. Do you only take classes with other people in your program? Uh, most of our classes we do, uh, oh my God, I just put a timer for 10 seconds. <laughs> it's okay. Um, do we take classes with other people in the program? Or only people in the program? Oh, not only people in the program, but we have most of our classes with, well, most of everyone is going to take the same classes, but you're also going to have other biology majors. So you're not like closed off from everyone else, which is pretty great. Do you get to choose your classes? Uh, no, <laughs> not really. Uh, we do get like two or three biology electives, but most, if not all, they'll pick for you. What's been your favorite class so far? I would say last semester we took cancer biology. That was really fun. Um, we had like a professor who was really into cancer bio and it's like she's been really affected by it in her family. And so she had a lot of things like current event stuff to keep us up to speed. And it was really interesting, pretty relatable. Are you excited to go to med school? It's coming up real soon. <laughs> I'm really excited. I could not wait any longer, honestly, but I'm also like a little bit scared, so. Did you apply to other med schools besides the one connected to the program? Uh, well, you're not allowed to because, um, and I think it's the case for most BSMD programs is that 
uh, you are kind of, it's a binding contract with the med school that's affiliated with your program, so. Would you have applied out to other schools if you got the chance? In the beginning, I was definitely open to it, but now, honestly, I'm fine with staying in Georgia, and especially if it's a conditional guarantee. I'm totally cool with that. What student organizations did you get to be a part of? Um, well, there's a lot of things on campus, depending on what you're interested in. I am involved in Jaguar Miracle, so if there's anyone that's FTK out there, um, it's partnered with the Children's Hospital. There's a bunch of things like Lumen Society, um, just kind of being a student ambassador, that sort of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that you can get involved in. Were you ever involved in research? Yeah, I started last semester, so I've been keeping that up. It's pretty interesting. How many hours a week do you think you study on average? Uh, <laughs> well, oh gosh, I don't even know. I mean, I don't, like, there are times where I should be studying, but I don't. So it's really hard to That's keep track. That's Probably like five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> Many hours. What's the most amount of hours you've studied straight? Um, oh, for the MCAT, definitely. Uh, I'd be pulling like eight hour days of just constant doing nothing else but studying and eating and sleeping and crying. <laughs> Yeah, I don't it's miss those that days. I promise. It's, I'm just being really dramatic. <laughs> How many tests do you have in an average week? Um, well, a lot of my classes decide to be really inconvenient and have all the tests in one week. So we'll be doing like maybe two or three in a week and then two weeks of like chill, relax, and then two or three tests in one go. So not too bad. What time do you normally wake up? I wake up however late I possibly can. <laughs> How many hours of sleep are you typically working on? I, uh, well, it depends. Sometimes it's like five or four hours or like eight. And then sometimes it's 12. <laughs> That's quite the variable range. So how many sleeps, hours of sleep are you working on right now? Ooh. Well, it's a long weekend, so I am definitely 12 plus hours of sleep. <laughs> Congrats. Let me check up on the cookies. You a morning go-getter or a night owl? Probably neither <laughs> because I will choose to sleep for as long as I can. So I will sleep as early as I can and as late as I can. So Also a mood. Who are you most thankful for in your program? In the program? Honestly, my roommates for dealing with me and being completely crazy all the time. Like, I kind of shut them all in their rooms right now. <laughs> What's the funniest story you've had in the program so far? Um, oh my gosh, we've had so many crazy things. But I would say freshman year, we did the most freshman thing where we would just play sardines, like hide and seek. Um, around the med school campus at like 12 or like 1 o'clock in the morning and it was just all of us playing sardines. <laughs> SMH. So what's the most common medical advice you give to friends and family? The common medical advice? Oh gosh, listen to your doctor. Like you're not more educated than them. <laughs> they definitely know what they're doing. Preach. So what's your favorite nerdy random medical fact? I would say, well, I don't know how I know this, but um, apparently stomach acid can dissolve stomach, not dissolve stomach, razor blades. Stomach acid can dissolve razor blades. This is true. Yeah. And I guess we can't really avoid talking about it right now, but how has your program experience been affected by COVID? Um, I would say it affected our year more than anyone else's, uh, mainly because our MCAT got moved around and like cancellations and we had to take it like a shortened version. So like six hours. I mean, it's still bad, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay. So we've talked a lot about life inside the books. How about your life when it's time to be a regular college student? So what is your favorite thing to do when you're not studying? Probably. Well, if I get time to breathe, I'll be spending money that I don't have um, shopping. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> Does your family ever ask you for random medical advice because they think you're a doctor way too soon? All the time, especially like my grandma <laughs> who thinks I'm basically a doctor already. Um, <laughs> but uh, What's the weirdest question a family or friend has ever asked you then? Um, well, oh gosh, so many, like so many weird things. But recently she asked me if uh, someone has COVID and you drink warm water, it'll help flush it out of the system. But if you drink cold water, it'll keep it in. Is that true? And I was like, Grandma, I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> Yeah, check the CDC website for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have any pets? I do, actually. I have two birds. They're really annoying. And if you want them, I will give them away to you. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> you a dog or cat person? I'm a dog person. What's your favorite animal not a dog or cat? Um, oh, baby goats. I'm obsessed with goats. Anyone who knows me will tell you that. <laughs> That's adorable. If you could have dinner with anyone in history, who would it be? Um... Probably Princess Diana. I feel like she knew a lot of things she wasn't supposed to, and they killed her off. I want to know them. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> what would you guys be eating at that dinner? Uh, I don't know if she'd be into it, but I, I really like seafood. <laughs> What's your favorite dish to eat? Ooh, anything seafood. <laughs> okay. Any good restaurants or favorite restaurants around here? Around Augusta? Yeah. Well, we've got a mean Chili's. <laughs> that is so sad, but so true. It's good. Coffee, tea, or soda? Coffee. I see uh, you've got your drink of choice. I'm prepared. This is my second cup of today. <laughs> How much water should you be drinking a day? Uh, definitely more often than whenever you find yourself thirsty. So. What's your favorite healthy snack? Oranges. I love oranges. <laughs> What's your favorite guilty snack? Oh gosh. Cookies. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> you got both ends of the spectrum oh, right yeah, here. Oh yeah, of course. One orange for every five cookies. <laughs> All right, most controversial question. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? <laughs> Gross. I don't, I think pineapple or any fruit, honestly, shouldn't be on pizza, so. Good to hear. <laughs> Apple or Android? Apple. Any artistic hobbies you keep up with? Um, yeah, I, well, it's been hard to keep up with this in college, but I play piano, so whenever I can. Okay. What kind of music do you listen to? I'm very basic. Probably anything on the radio. <laughs> do you ever listen to music to pump you up before a test? Um, if I listen to something that is on the radio, it'll stick with me in my head, so probably nothing on the radio. <laughs> What's the best way that you relax after a long day? Um, probably sleep <laughs> or shop. <laughs> I'm very boring. That's a mood. <laughs> you a uh, night in or go out on the town kind of person? I really like to go out, so that's why it's been super hard. COVID has ruined my life. I'm kidding. <laughs> you an indoors or outdoors person? Outdoors. Beach or mountains? Mountains when it's winter, because I, I don't know, just being cozy, but beach otherwise. Would you consider yourself more of an introvert or extrovert? Extroverted. <laughs> Was that personality trait a factor in you choosing the program? Mm, no, I don't think so. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. As we wrap up, I want to ask you a few reflective questions. What did you think you were going to be when you grew up as a kid? <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actress, but then I realized how not so sustainable that was, so go figure. <laughs> what specialty do you want to be after med school? Um, well, I'm really into child psychiatry, but I like to consider myself open <laughs> to really anything. If you didn't do medicine, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Well, maybe it's just because I've been watching a bunch of crime shows lately or like forensics type things, but probably homicide detective. That's so morbid, but okay. <laughs> Are there any times that you doubted that you would make it through the program and become a med student? 
Uh, yeah. Like, if not every day, then probably every other day. <laughs> if you could change one thing about the medical field right now, what would it be? If I could change one thing. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm literally just eating, like, constantly. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> um, probably... Well, there are a lot of people who I feel like are aspiring potential physicians and a lot of barriers in the way have to do with financial reasons. So I think if the path to med school was a lot less um, of a burden financially, then I think it would definitely open the scope for a lot of great potential physicians. What can a high school student do right now to prepare to apply for the program? Mm. Probably, well, one thing that I wish I did more as a high school student to prepare was check a lot of the programs and see what requirements they have because a lot of them have requirements and things to do before you can even apply. So look into that early on. If you were to go back, would you change any of your experiences that got you to where you are right now? Well, I don't know if I would change a lot of things because even if I made bad decisions, I am here today. <laughs> but um, in high school, especially, I would say just stop comparing yourself with other people. Like no one's on the same mindset as you and it just puts you down for no reason. Would you recommend high school students or high school pre-med students apply to BSMD programs after your experience? Well. It depends because if you really think that you don't see yourself doing anything else, then I think it's a better way to just commit to this program. You know, this is perfect. But if you're looking into other things, if you're not 100% sure, don't close yourself off to anything else. So make sure it's the right fit for you before you apply. At the end of the road, which you're nearing, do you think that being a part of a BSMD program was worth it for you specifically? I honestly, I'm so grateful every day that I got this opportunity. I think that there's no better way to get what I want <laughs> to, um, than like getting there earlier, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I've just been really fortunate to meet the people that I've met and being surrounded by people who want the same thing as me. So it's just, it's a great program. All right. And finally, <laughs> what would you say to the aspiring pre-med student right now who wants to be in your shoes? Ooh. I would say slow down, calm down. Um, try not to focus too much on like that next A on your next test. Just like Take it day by day, you know, take it easy. If it's really what you want to do, then you're going to get it, regardless of whether it's through the program or traditionally. Beautiful words. Well, thank <laughs> you so much, Neha. That well, is that the end fast. of our 73 questions. <laughs> One more question. Can I have a cookie? Yes. I literally, I've made like two batches. They These smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you for having me. This is fun. <laughs>